Starting inside row number three will be the 66 of Trevor Noonan to his outside the 88 SR of John Schwint. Your fourth and final row in your IMCA Sport Mod B feature sees Preston Wakehurst to the inside and Dion Kovar to the outside. Through turns three and four they go. We go green flag racing. Those drivers are going to be joined by the C-Main transfers from their Sport Modifies as the green flag flies. Off into corner number one, Mason Richards is going to hold the early advantage. Oh, big spin, big pile up, parking lot over in turn number two. Dion Kovar had a little bit of help catching a spin and a couple of guys with just nowhere to go. That's going to result in a complete restart, so let's get it out of the way. Eagle Raceway, get him up, get him up, get him up. Let's take a drink. Be feature action for your avid Realty Northern Sport, Mod uh, Sport Mods here at Eagle Raceway. They set him up into turn number three, getting ready to knock him down off of corner number four. Mason Richards is going to lead the field back to the green flag. Twelve laps the distance in this Sport Mod B main. Mason Richards looking strong going into three, but he has quite the challenge coming on the low side from the 17 of Mary Hahn. Mary Hahn looking to take no prisoners in this B feature as Mason Richards hangs on to the lead through one and two. We got a spinner over in turn number two. That's going to collect two of them. Looks like, oh, excuse me, three of them. Bo Riffle also involved. Riffle gets it refired before the yellow flag flies. A little bit of a header fire on the black car. Tough break for those guys over there in one and two. Auto Connection tow crew and the Four Corners Fire and Safety on the scene trying to assist with that header fire. As they come through turns three and four, this time around, Richard's gonna lead us to the green flag, followed by Han, Noonan, and Latour, your top four. Four moving on in tonight's B feature for your IMCA Sport Mods. We got 11 laps remaining in this B feature. 11 laps to go is a long way to go, but a short time to get there for anybody outside looking in. In the meantime, out front, Mason Richards Checks out on the lead by about three or four car lengths. Hans going to hang on to the second spot as with a hard charging Trevor Noonan and Bobby Draper making his way up from the C feature, hanging on to the fourth and final transfer spot. Looking to make it into the show tonight as the battle for second continues to heat up between Hahn and Noonan. Noonan really liking the low side. Hahn likes the high side, and she's going to seal the deal on that second spot as they make their way down the back stretch. Mary Hahn, high, wide, round the outside, takes the second spot, but is being charged by Noonan to the inside. They drive it down into turns one and two, and off the two they go. Hahn's gonna get the drive and slings it to the outside, hits turn three, but the position's gonna go to Noonan as they come off of turn number four. They're catching the leader of the 18M of Richards. Battle for second is now a three-car dance for the top spot. That's something that you don't typically see when you see two cars start to really battle with each other. They tend to fall off from the leader, but look out. Stout battle for the lead coming off of corner number four. Mason Richards hangs on to it, but Mary Hahn closes to within a couple feet of the back bumper of Richards. Richards, you've got company in the number 17 of Hahn. Up on the high side, the 17 of Mary Hahn gets around there. And then Mason Richards gonna look on the low side. Hahn's gonna knock on the back door. We got the yellow flag a waving. Something going on. Debris turn one. Auto connection tow crew guys waving them. Go high, go high. I got something to pick up. A spring. Spring has come, James. Spring has finally showed up. Oh, I like it when spring shows up, but it's better when it stays in the cup. Six laps remaining in your Avid Realty Sport Mod B Main event for tonight's racing action brought to you by Nebraska Lottery and Pepsi? Or is that next week? Uh, excuse me, tonight's racing action brought to you by High Noon and Nebraska Lottery. Anyways, back to racing action after my monumental mess up. 
Mason Richards hangs on to the lead as they roll into three. Trevor Noonan liking the low side. Mary Hahn up top trying to hold on to the second spot as they continue to close in on your leader. The field goes by with six laps to go. Six, five laps to go now as they turn down the back straightaway into turn number three. Mary Hahn's going to hit the high side. Continues to ride the lip around turns three and four. Gets the drive down the front straightaway. Knocking on the back door of the 18M of Mason Richards. Looking just on the wings as the 66 of Trevor Noonan. Top three battling it on. And the fourth and final transfer spot sitting on an island all his own. Your C feature transfer car, the 62 of Bobby Draper. Three laps remaining. The battle's about to get intense for this top spot. Mary Hahn has closed the door on Trevor Noonan and she's looking to do more. Through three and four, you've got a battle for the lead. Hahn like in the top side, coming towards the flag stand. You've got a new leader in Mary Hahn. Door to door off a of turn number four. Going round the outside, round the outside. Mary Hahn, your new race leader. Trouble for John Schwint as he brings that 88 machine to the infield as Mary Hahn picks up the white flag. Mary Hahn, Mason Richards, Trevor Noonan, and your fourth and final transfer spot of Bobby Draper. Great battle going on down the back straightaway between Noonan and Richards. In the meantime, coming off of corner number four, Caden Murray's got the checkered flag in hand for Mary Hahn. Mason Richards is going to hang on to the second spot. Trevor Noonan picks up the third spot and rounding out your fourth and final transfer cars, the 62 of Bobby Draper. What an exciting action-packed last couple of laps in that one. Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting the sign. We're going to go green flag racing next time by Tyler Deakey. Going to lead us to the green off of turn number four. Mike Leonard to his outside. Followed by Oaks, Yoakum, Woodman, and Flock, your top three rows. But as they take a nice and easy pace through turns three and four, off of turn number four. Ladies and gentlemen, the Eagle Raceway, let's go racing! Good start down the front straightaway. Early advantage is going to be to Tyler Deakey. Tyler Deakey with one fast 15 at the beginning of this feature event. AJ Oaks trying to mount a challenge for the second spot. Oh no, as we've got Matt Mike Leonard around, it's going to cause a parking lot over in three and four. Mike Leonard involved. Austin Yoakum involved. Adam Verb could just narrowly gets around. Looks like Dana Deakey also involved. The 11, McLean Reed gets just towards the end of that. Replay coming up here from Advantage Racing TV. As they come around the corner, the 82 of Leonard just steps out, got on the gas a little too hot and heavy, whipped it around in front of the field. Flock slams on the brakes, loops it around, collecting the three of Yoakum and a bunch of other cars as parking lot hitting turn four and the sport mods doing their thing here at the Eagle Raceway. Gary Dominguez drops the Nebraska Realty Eagle Raceway pace truck into the infield. We've got 18 big laps coming at you for your Avid Realty Sport Modifieds. Here we go. Alex Deakey with the early advantage down the front stretch as the field instantly begins to go three wide. Oh, hard break for the leader, Alex Deakey. Trouble for both your front row starting cars as they try to get on the gas. They're not used to something on the track is not sitting right for them. They hit the gas and around they go. And speaking of around they go, round two race fans here at the Eagle Raceway. As we look at a little quick replay here from Van Racing TV. Uh, yep, gets on the gas and loops it right in front of the field. Lucky driving from everybody else to quickly avoid and avoid contact with Alex Deakey going around? I know better than to answer that question. That's why it was merely After a question. After being ridiculed at the topless show. That's right, I'm looking at you, Bree. Anyways, green flag is back out. We're back to racing action. Matt Andrews with a strong jump through one and two. Oh, no. Dugan, what have you done to us? I'm blaming that on you, Mr. Guy who cursed it on topless night. But we're staying clean and green, and we got a battle for the race lead between Andrews and the seven. The of, of Urka. 
Timing has to catch up here. It does now. We got it corrected. Timing is caught up. Andrews and Burpka racing through turns three and four. Battle for the race lead. Staying clean and green for the time being. Field stretched out. And race for the lead still hot and heavy. Third's going to be the 18M of Richards as Bullmeyer Hall. A drape for your top six. I am still amazed that we didn't catch a caution on that last incident through one and two as your battle's shaping up over three and four. Matt Andrews with a strong run in 22 machine, but Adam Burka with a lot of straightaway speed. You can kind of see him as he dips down to the end of the straightaway. He continues to close that gap, but Matt Andrews has some excellent cornering ability out of that jet mod off of turn four. Off turn four they go. Now we got a battle for the third spot, shaping up between... Mason Richards and Drake Bollmeyer. Bollmeyer down to the inside, gets the drive, and drives up ahead of the 18 of Richards. Richards with the run down the high side, hits the high side once again through turn three and four, trying to make his way back up, looking like the fast lane's gonna be the low side early on in this Sport Mod feature. Mason Richards with a strong start to his sophomore season in the Sport Modifieds, another guy that came out of the micro sprint division Good run thus far for the 18M of Mason Richards as Matt Andrews clicks off another lap, holding off Adam Burka, Drake Bullmeyer, Mason Richards, and Derek Hall. Derek Hall mounting a challenge to Richards, the 44D, looking for the inside, trying to find a way around as Matt Andrews brings the field to 11 to go. Hall looking for the four spot from Richards. Richards way slideways off a of turn number four. Turn one they go, Hall to the inside, Richards on the Richards on the high side, Hall to the low side. Hall gets a position over Richards. That's the fourth spot settled for Hall, but Richards gonna try him out of charge. Meanwhile, up front, we got possible lap traffic keeping up for your race leaders. Wait, whoa, Mason Richards all around and gathers it back up, saves it. Good driving by everybody else. We stay clean and green. Excellent save for Mason Richards as the field goes down to about eight and a half laps to go. Matt Andrews with the advantage by about five car lengths over Adam Burpka. Burpka switching up his lane to the low side, trying to mimic what Matt Andrews is doing, trying to close the gap as much as possible as Andrews begins to deal with lap traffic down the back straightaway. Down the back straightaway into turns three and four. Lap traffic not a factor this time. Bye for Andrews. Andrews in that pink and blue number 22. Holding the race lead well over your second place starter. But looking at a battle on the TV screens, we got 62 of Draper. Yellow is out for the 17 of Mary Hahn through turns four. Tough break for Mary Hahn after battling her way through the heat races and the B feature to make it here. Looks like she should be able to continue in that 17 machine and we are gonna have a seven lap war to settle the score. Adam Burpka with a hard charging 7B couldn't get within about three car lengths of Matt Andrews, a strong runner uh, last year's points champion in the Avid Realty Sport Modifieds. Seven lap shootout here in your IMCA Northern Sport Mods. Andrews, your race leader, followed by Verbka off of turn number four. Here we go, green flag racing once again in your Northern Sport Mods. As they go through turns three and four, Drake Bolmar looks to the back side. First wants to dip up to the high side. That's Armstrong and Mason Richards deep in the field. They're looking to hit the high side. Around goes. That was a 44, I thought it was, I thought it was Richards at first. No, that is a 44 of Reed around in turn three, collecting three more cars behind him. Clayton Peters, Oaks, and Ty Tyler Deakey, unfortunately going around, collected in with that replay coming up at you from Advantage Racing TV. All you folks back at home get to re-watch what happened there. As it come through turns three and four, just on the right of your screen there, may have gotten hooked. Not entirely sure. It was just off the camera screen. Couldn't quite tell how it started there, but around went McLean Reed, and that caught up Peters, Oaks, and Deakey in that wreck. Never say the age. My mom has been 29 since well before I was 29. 
Yes, Sabrell Plank. Off of turn number four, we're going green flag racing once again. Andrews, your race leader, leading us to the green flag. Matt Andrews leading the field down the back stretch. Burbka closes to us in about two car lengths. Lap traffic out of the equation as the field comes down to six laps to go. Andrews, Burbka, Bullmeyer, Hall. The battle starting to shape up behind those top four as Bobby Draper tries to make a move on Adam Armstrong, but Adam Armstrong with one fast 6A hot rod. He's going to try to catch two in one lap, taking the high side, working his way. Not going to get around Derek Hall that time by. In the meantime, Drake Bullmeyer trying to make a move for that second spot, trying to find a lower side than Burka. As the leaders have strung themselves out in the top three, where did Armstrong come from? Driving deep from the field, he's hitting the high side, making his charge. He's got the four spot and looking for more with four laps to go in this one. Armstrong hitting the high side, hitting the berm, getting the drive, getting the momentum. He's going to chase down Drake Bullmeyer, challenging for that third spot. In the meantime, out front, three laps to go for Matt Andrews, Adam Burbka, Drake Bullmeyer, and Adam Armstrong. Armstrong really finding something that he likes in the high line around this fast third mile at Eagle Raceway. This time by, it's going to be two laps to go. Armstrong still continuing to try and mount the challenge on Bullmeyer. Nothing doing this time by. It's two laps to go for the 22 of Matt Andrews. Two laps to go for the 22. That's a lot of twos. And out of battle for the third spot. Scraping the wall. Sparks fly. And Armstrong trying to make that third spot happen. In the turn. Oh, we got debris on the back straight away. Debris on the back straight away. We are going to the yellow. Green, white, checkered. Adam Armstrong really finding a way to make the Mike Boston lane work right around the ring. Catching a couple sparks. Dugan's getting excited up here. Race fans, are you I've getting excited? excited? What are you talking about? I've been excited. Race fans, join me in the excitement. Let's go. <laughs> Eagle Raceway, who thinks Matt Andrews can hang on for the win? Who thinks Adam Verbka is going to mount a green-white checkered charge? Can Drake Bullmeyer put his hat into the mix? Who thinks Adam Armstrong can get the job done in three laps? Starting position number 11. Sixth row to the inside, making a charge. He is sitting three spots from the front. All he has to do is pass three more cars. Now they're bunched up, but we got two laps to shake it all out. Through turns three and four they go. Andrews leads us, Verpka in second, Bullmeyer third, and Armstrong in fourth. Great flag is out, we're back to racing. Three lap war to settle the score. Matt Andrews, Adam Verpka, Drake Bullmeyer, Adam Armstrong taking the high side around, trying the Boston line, not quite gonna work for him this time. Manages to carry a lot of momentum, even without making the pass. Does it again through three and four. Andrews is gonna lead this one. As the white flag is out, one lap more to settle the score. Armstrong gets around Bullmeyer, but taps the wall just a little too hard and still manages to carry that momentum. This time by through corner three, off a of corner four. Caden Murray's got the checkered flag in hand. It's waving for Matt Andrews. Adam Armstrong comes back for a second place finish. Final lap, final turn, makes his way around Adam Verbka, bringing it home in the third spot with the 24 machine of Drake Bullmeyer bringing it home in fourth. I tell you what, we've I, I kind of used this a little bit too much. We sold you the whole seat, and now you're only using the edge of it. A lot of you aren't even using the edge of your seat. We got a lot at standing room only at Eagle Raceway, and we still got two big features coming at you. But in the meantime, make some noise for your Avid Realty Sport Mod feature winner, the 22 Batman Matthew Andrews. All right, well, since since Dugan knows who we're talking to, we're down here with Matt Andrews. Matt picking up the first one at Eagle this year. Quality run. I know last night I talked to you for a little bit via Snapchat trying to get the damn thing to turn, and, well, tonight she was sure turning and burning. Yeah, this is a whole different car. We uh, don't run points at Beatrice, so we wasted a night last night trying to figure out what's going on with the other car, and we got this one pretty locked in pretty good. Last week we had a little issue in the heat race, and... Uh, 
somehow our MSD box was turned down, so I didn't run it full power last week, but we made up for it in the feature, you know, running the alphabet soup race, and now we're here. Turned down for what? Run us through some sponsor support on the 22 machine. I got RDM Landscapes, Bonta Medical, PBS Rentals, Billiards, Jess Meredith Billiards, Sky Top, Big Head Lawn Care, Underdog Design, Wife and Mom, this is your Mother's Day gift because I didn't buy nothing. AR Cut, and I think that's about it. All right, race fans, give it up for him picking up your win in the Avid Realty Sport Mods, the 22, that's Batman, Matt Andrews.